Today, I'm reacting to Chris Wilder's funniest moments. Enough time's passed. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see on screen right now, as per the thumbnail, as per the title, we are going to be looking back on Chris Wilder's funniest moments as Chef United manager. This was actually a Chef United Way video from May 2020 when we were riding the Chris Wilder wave. We were in the Premier League. Life was absolutely fantastic when I made this video. It's all changed. I think a lot of people aren't massive Wilder fans these days. A lot still are. He did a lot for our club. I still love the man. I've still got a lot of respect for the man. Uh, he's currently no longer the Middlesbrough manager. So if you're watching this video when he's got a new job, he's currently not in the same division as Sheffield United as he doesn't have a job. So this is why we're looking at this, reacting to it. And let's try and have a little bit of a laugh, shall we? So here we go. And this is one of my favourite clips of Chris Wilder. I know it's coming. <laughs> Fantastic. I love this intro. I absolutely love the intro. I miss it so much. Well done, Johnny. This is all Johnny from Shore and View. That is Johnny's intro for me. Legend. I've changed to Moretti, by the way. So if anybody wants to buy me Moretti, <laughs> we're right. on Well, I'll take Peroni as well. Yeah. <laughs> Anything that's wet and cold. <laughs> Great. Shields, you just said that we might be sponsored by Peroni. I nearly dropped my Peroni when I when I heard a few of the uh, numbers that have been bandied about over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, you. I know all the... He used to do little things like to the camera, like and and used to do little daft things, and I miss that. I do miss that because yeah, we've not had that for a while. Someone who's got a bit of personality. I love Hecky. I love Hecky to bits. Don't get me wrong, but there was just something about Chris Wilder. It was, uh, yeah, he just loved the cameras and he loved to make people laugh. A little bit like Neil Warnock. There are definitely some similarities there. Songs, so nobody needs to teach me any of the songs because I've, I've sung them. The sung iconic them interview. Um, cheers. Okay. Another drink. <laughs> yeah, because I've just not had enough. It's not had enough. 100 points, great success. The only team to lick you three times was Walsall. Why Jeez. is this? You better ask the fellas that did the draw. I always thought that draw was botched. <laughs> when it's come through, I was, I was like listening to it and uh, now nah, that can't be right. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant because the season when we achieve 100 points in League One, like after the first five or six games, we were untouchable in League One. And it was one of my favourite ever seasons as a Sheffield United fan. And the fact that we got Walsall in the Cup was hilarious because we got hammered by Walsall three times the previous season to this one. They just knew exactly how to play as he was the catchers on the break all the time. And I remember going to Walsall away in that League One season and thinking, how is this even happening? Under Chris Wilder, we used to play a really high line or you could just say we used to leave one centre-back at the back and everyone else used to go charging forward. So, uh, yeah, I, I can't believe other teams didn't do as more, but we did have some fantastic players. We really did. The Klinsman dive. <laughs> didn't get much of a slide on it as he probably wanted to. And, and I think afterwards he were a bit embarrassed about that one. I, re I remember reading that he was uh, a little bit embarrassed. But I thought it was fantastic. Do you know what? The way they play, the way they... Do you know what? This video is so overexposed. As you can see, you can barely see Chris Wilder's face. He's like a snowman. So, yeah, they've definitely levelled up uh, things in the past few years. Sheffield United's marketing team. Results they've had one defeat in 13. I've got Muppets from Leeds <laughs> Muppets talking about Leeds. Precious Honours and Bamford and Forshaw <laughs> and uh, a couple of others, and it's over to you and this, that, and you. They got beat seven times since Christmas. They got beat they've seven been, times. Been beat a little bit of a dig at him when we was at the Liberty Stadium at the sideline as well, so that didn't cloud Ollie you. McBurn. No, not at all. No, nothing personal. And I, I quite like that. I, I just spoke to Morgs about it uh, this morning, who, who obviously represents him as well. and. I thought he was outstanding against us when Barnsley turned us over at their place uh, first year back in the... I did not know that Chris Morgan represented Ollie McBurney. Did anyone else know that? Is that... Is that common knowledge? 
don't mention anything about bottle and bollocks um, <laughs> about about us, you know, uh, you know, uh, dipping out. We've had, we had a disappointing game against Millwall, a disappointing game against Bristol City, come back and won. Disappointing game, game against Millwall, come back, bang, Forest win, bang. Th- uh, two, three, <laughs> two, deal with that. And, Deal uh, with that. We've been in rightful place today. We're watching another team struggling, trying to get a win to get to, to to even get close to us. He's so he's so bitter. He's so bitter. We've got promoted, and he was so bitter about Leeds. It's funny watching it back now because I was absolutely with him back then. I'm like, yeah, they're Muppets from Leeds, but then when you watch it, like a couple of years later, it's like. Why, just enjoy yourself. This is the way my head, my head is. Right. <laughs> this is this is what's in my head. I don't Regardless think there's no in your head right now, Chris. Over the beer you're in football for. Every three weeks, I need my hair cleaned. <laughs> Every three weeks, I park in Cole Brothers. Cole Brothers, right? Yeah. Dived, I've dived into the, the old fountain at the top of Farg- Fargate. Me, Todd, eh? Todd, Mark Todd, first day that he was at Sheffield United, we pushed him in the fountain. Uh, 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 Welcome to Sheffield United. Half an hour ago we spoke right, to him. We, we pushed him in the fountain. Me, we me pals, we pushed him in the fountain. Welcome to Sheffield United. He had a pair of green flash trainers on, and we went, we're getting rid of them, pushed him in the fountain. Uh, Joe's, walk past Josephine's, how many times that I've been in there, how many times I've been refused entry, walk past the city hall and looked up. And looked up. And looked up. And And looked up. What might happen. (laughs) And then, walk past it, walked on Surrey Street. This is iconic, this. Uh, This is iconic. Walk past the news agents on the left, Walk past, I'm giving some right plugs out here. <laughs> look, look, walk past Lynn's Pantry. Lynn's Pantry. Lynn's Pantry. Lynn's Pantry. I was speaking to Ollie the other day. Ollie um, from the channel, obviously. Uh, not Ollie McBurney. He works in town, and I'm pretty sure the other day he said he walked past Lynn's Pantry and it wasn't there anymore. You're going to have to let me know in the comments if that is also true. Devastated, devastated about that because that is iconic just from this interview. On the left hand side, walk past Lynn's pantry on the left hand side and walked into. I'm giving him a right plug as well. Taylor Taylor's hairdressers every three weeks and every time I looked up and thought. What's going to happen in May? What's it going to be like in May if we if we produce and we and and, and the scenes that Ooh. we've had every three weeks? Goose pimple. Goose pimple moment. Give, right? Seriously, it's me pal. And he, he doesn't have to do a lot of work on the air because it's, what is the it's cameraman doing? Bit. He's been he on the source as well, quid, surely. I give him a tip, right? I give him tickets, and he never knocks me any money off. <laughs> he never gives me any products or anything like that. <laughs> products. Maybe you'll go. What about my head? <laughs> what about my head? <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh, Sanders video. <laughs> <laughs> Sanders massive. To get at all, Sandra, sometimes. Yeah, one of my first uh, interviews for Sky. Um, in uh, he was live, uh, uh, live <laughs> uh, down the camera to Sky Studios and said something about, Are you on drugs or something like that? And Are you on drugs? And then uh, <laughs> you've looked at me, and then all of a sudden, the, the, uh, the guys around the panel. In the, in the Sky Studios were, were, were saying, uh, yeah, we apologise <laughs> for that comment by Chris Wilder. I just thought it was a, quite a funny comment, actually, just a, yeah. just a normal comment. Full respect. I love that. I love that I own drugs because I use that so much on Twitter. I literally clipped it. And every time someone says anything stupid, I just put that video, I own drugs. Not full respect to Patrick Bamford <laughs> at all. Um, but the way we've, we've gone about it, I think he's gone under the radar. He's not got enough credit in terms of media coverage. Everybody wanted Leeds to go up, and, uh, and we've just come absolutely steaming. I do steaming for a, think he's right and, with that. Uh, one. And... Where is he? <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> this was such a great okay. video. Okay, okay. The town's here, and this is the main area for our support. Chris Wilder driving Sander Berger around town. You love to see it. And I think he was lower than a snake's belly, uh, and he had his, he had his belt round his neck at the time. Um, <laughs> what have I told you about saying stuff like that? You can't right? say that, that Kevin, am I? No. This club, when you it's at its best, that. it's together. No egos. Not about me. Not about Billy. Not about Nile. Uh, not about Cootsie. About Mark McNulty. About Kevin Cookson. About Johnny Garrett. 
about Claire who works in the office, about Mickey Rooker, about Bash, not about, about all them lot. Done and dusted now, then what can you tell us about the, the deal for him? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, you put me right on the spot there, Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> well, and you I've, said it was done. Yeah, well, as far as I'm concerned, it's done. Yeah. So, uh, I know so what does he bring to you then? Well, when you don't try done. and change the subject. You try to put me in a pickle, haven't you? Put me in a situation, which you won't forget, mate, because I've got, an, I've got a memory like an elephant. So you have your little moment there, Johnny. So, uh, yeah, it's a great performance today. And uh, I'm delighted that we're here. Your little When is it? Monday? Monday. Yeah, Monday. Yeah. Oh, ball dear. number? Uh, I'm not sure. You don't know? One. Oh, you don't know what ball number it is? <laughs> number one, that's a good number. I'll take that one back, yeah. <laughs> if you do get that deal done for Ryan Leonard, what can you tell us about it? Ryan you Leonard. know what we can tell him about it. We've ch chased it for long enough. You know exactly what it's about. And do you know what? Looking back on that interview there, it is really funny, and he does have some really comedic timing in there. But you could see he's annoyed. You could see he's annoyed that he's put him on the spot. I thought he was joking there about putting him on the spot. But then he's like, ball number? Oh, you don't know what it is? He's clearly annoyed that he's put him on the spot. But that just makes it even funnier. Not about Kevin. Not about me. Not about the staff. <laughs> he's uh, about it again. They're all about players. I'm really conscious myself here a little bit because I've had a too much of a drink. But players and supporters. Too much of a drink. Well done. I try to nick. The mayor's chain off of her. She won't let me out. I, I forgot about she that. Let me can, I, can I wear that? Can I wear that? <laughs> oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, God. Do you know what? I enjoyed that way, way more than I thought I was going to. I uh, I loved, loved going back in time and uh, and listening to Chris Wilder's... Chris Wilderisms, you could say. There's not many blokes like Chris Wilder. And, uh, yeah... He is a funny, funny bloke. It's just a pity that his career has probably not gone how he thought it would go and how a lot of us thought it would go. We wanted to see him at Bramall Lane for a lot longer. Uh, I think it'll it'll go kind of how Warnock went because where we we didn't like Warnock at first when he left and he came back and he beat us and stuff. But Chris Wilder's not really got the upper hand over us at all. He's, he's never beaten us. Hopefully, I'm hoping that eventually we will have him back at Bramall Lane. I don't mean to cause any offence uh, for those Chris Wilder haters. Uh, but yeah, I still love the man. I really enjoyed watching that. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you very, very soon.